definitely changed around my camera the other day. Um, how are you all doing today? My name is Sarah. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Um, we are building a Ready Player One slash Minecraft or slash Clue version of a Minecraft game. Um, this includes the world, but it also includes um, some make code programming. Uh, so I'm really excited. Um, first of all, if you are new, um, we are tracking all of this work over on our streams GitHub repo. Um, so let me just plop this over here. Uh, so basically, um, some of them are, are kind of old. I haven't fully kept up with all the things. But if you go into August um, 2019, because that's when I started it, I might end up moving it. Um, but basically, we have our clue. Uh, we have these nine rooms, as well as one starting point on top of a mountain. Um, and uh, the idea is that players are going to walk around a Minecraft world. They're going to find clues that are the locations to each room. And then um, they're going to teleport to that room. And when they get to that room, they need to have the proper tools to be able to break down certain blocks in that room to be able to find a prize. And then at the end, um, so then they collect a prize. Uh, we're gonna use like agents to see whether or not they collected it and then, um, and track who's who's grabbing everything. And then um, they're going to, basically uh, the game will end inside of Minecraft. And then in person, we're going to try to figure out who found the secret prize in what room um so ending with like an in-person clue piece i seriously don't know how like the whole game mechanics of this is gonna work but i figure we'll figure that out as twitch please 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 don't forget to use the chat and let me know if you are um or if I'm doing anything wrong. So I am a huge believer of pair programming. And the way I see it, y'all are my um, navigators and I am the driver. So in pair programming, you have two people on one computer with one keyboard, one mouse, and you have a driver, the person who's using the keyboard and mouse. Um, I was gonna lift it up, but then I realized that didn't make sense. Uh, and then you have a navigator, which is the person who's just making sure that they don't do anything um, just wrong. And it's okay to do things wrong, but a uh, navigator will help you find it before it actually happens. Um, so I trust y'all to be my navigators. So hello in the chat. Um, hello everyone. Uh, and please, 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 if you have ideas, if you think that I'm missing something, if I made a mistake, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, so yeah, welcome, welcome. Let's get started. So let's go back into our world. Um, remember we need to go into code builder and we need to run our clue game. I like to use make code with code builder, which is free and available um, makecode.com. And uh, it not only does Minecraft, but also does a lot of uh, IOT devices or microcontrollers. Um, so you should check it out. You don't even need to have it. They have like simulators inside of the web browser. Tangent. Um, okay, so we need to run this code. Remember, we always need to run setup. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to run, I'm just gonna like go back over here. So we need to run Thought that I was saving, yeah. Set up, teleport number will send us to the right place and then build number will actually build. We don't wanna build, so let's run set up and then um, room list will actually give us the rooms as well. So let's go ahead and run our code. My computer's running a little slow because I have a bunch of other stuff running. I actually have like a lot that I need to get done at work, um, but this is my like Tuesday, Thursday decompression. Let's just do something that's um, not that work isn't fun, but like, let's just do something that I have full control over and I can stop whenever I want and um, just like be creative. Uh, so that's why my computer might be running slightly slow. Um, so we did set up. Now let's teleport. Teleport over to first room. I thought I switched. Okay, yeah. So here is that room. Um, our agent should be following us. Let's go ahead and teleport, oops, teleport um, to the mountaintop. And our agent should be, oh, 
but it is in us. There we go. There's our agent. So our agent should always follow us. Um, the agent is important because it is the thing that will be keeping track of, oh my gosh, okay, you're starting to run really slow. It'll be keeping track of uh, what we're collecting um, as we break it. Basically, when we break a certain type of block, the agent will record that in its inventory. And then we can um, query that inventory to see whether or not we should end the game. So that's why our agent is important. Um, so let's, let's keep working. So basically what I want to do now is start to think about, I think what we should do is just kind of do it in order. So let's think about the clues that people are going to want to be able to find the different uh, locations. So um, obviously if you're watching this stream and you're looking at the, the repo, you might see things like, oh look, here's all the locations. So I'm just going to put those in. Uh, I'm going to change them for when I actually play with friends, uh, which I'm hoping to play with some UC San Diego folks. So I went to UC San Diego, University of California, San Diego, for my degrees in computer science. And um, there's some folks over there who like to play Minecraft too. And so I might go have like a Minecraft Clue Ready Player One day with them. That should be fun. Uh, and then I also work at Microsoft. And though I'm in San Diego, I uh, am going to be going up there in a couple of weeks. So maybe I could have this done by then and then I can play with some of my friends there. Um, but basically, uh, these are not going to be the locations uh, of the game that I play with them, right? So this is just for our testing and building, but that's why we still have the code for building the different rooms is so that we can um, determine those new locations uh, and have them be. I guess that's going to be kind of cheating. Like I'm going to know, so I, I won't get to play unless somebody else built it, but that's okay. I can be the game master. Um, so let's take canyon so we've got i'm just going to put this in the chat because that is an effective just piece like stuff that i can use so i'm going to say negative 13 to 2 25 179 is the canyon okay and um basically everyone's going to start at the mountain so everyone's going to start up here and then the idea is that they'll start to explore the world right so let's um, whoa, they're going to be in survival mode. So that was not very good, but, um, they're going to start exploring the world. And the, like, I mean, the thing is that they're going to be in survival mode. So they are going to have to do survival mode type things. Like they're probably going to have to create a house because they're probably not going to figure out the first clue right away. Um, so they're going to have to create a house. They're going to have to get like tools and things like that, but let's just go ahead and, and test this out. Um, I'm thinking kind of like, what if we created a sign or something. Oh no, my computer is running extremely slow. Let me try quitting all the things and seeing if that helps. Quit. Oh goodness gracious. Now it's going to be like, why do you want to quit? Force quit. Let's do that one. Um, here, you're going to plop over. Oh goodness gracious. This is not working out. Uh, Gosh, um, hang on, I can't really quit. Oh no, this is not good. Quit, oh, I can't quit that one. Let's go ahead and quit YouTube. I mean, stop going over there. No one asked you to do that. Um, and I can't really quit Chrome, but let's go ahead and quit Outlook. Okay. So, um, okay, uh, let's go ahead and get a sign. No, please don't freeze Minecraft. Oh no, am I gonna have to quit Minecraft? I should have anticipated this. Like I really should have anticipated this. Um, I started shutting down a lot of applications, but then I thought that it would be fine. Oh goodness gracious. Okay, I need to restart Minecraft sad okay um which means i'm gonna have to do am i gonna have to do 2fa again i think that i might be able to just sign okay good just remembered okay let's go back into our clue world anyways did anyone do anything fun this weekend i went to the wild animal park and saw some gorillas 
Diego. Um, I heard up in Washington there were some thunderstorms, which was pretty intense, I hear. Okay, so we're back down here. This is pretty good. Let me know, though, in the chat if you did anything fun this weekend. Um, I kind of like the idea of, like, hiding something in this big, huge forest. Um, just because, like, thinking of the way I play Minecraft, I would probably want to be, like, I, I, I don't want it to be completely, like, unfindable, right? But, I mean, I guess this is kind of unfindable. I don't even know where I am. Let's just, let's just play around with this idea. Um, and actually, that's a good point, though. We don't want it to be completely unfindable. We could do something like, I mean, can't you put um, the beacons? I've never actually used Minecraft beacons. But I think a light. Right. So then how does it work? I mean, I'm in creative mode, so I can do whatever I want. So here we go, activate a beacon. Beacons require an obstructed view of the sky. And the beacon is on top of a pyramid constructed of iron blocks, gold blocks, emerald blocks, and or diamond blocks. See, that's what I never did was put it on a pyramid. Um, so a pyramid could be as simple as a three by three uh, square, apparently. So let's just start with that. And actually that might be Actually, that's kind of a neat concept is what if we built. Ooh, OK, so what if we built the pyramid for the beacons out of something that they what was it that they would have to do? Um, iron blocks, gold blocks, emerald blocks or diamond blocks, Ooh, maybe some iron blocks. So what if they built what if we built the pyramid out of iron blocks and then they actually had to like break down some of the iron blocks in order to um or they could technically break it okay let's just let's just I'm, uh, I don't know I don't know I'm trying to think like could we incorporate that into like one of the prizes and then the neat thing about that is if you find a beacon with a sign or that will lead you to a sign that has some kind of um coordinates on it uh, that you might want to break down the pyramid in order for the beacon to turn off, in which case other people can't find that sign, potentially. And is Minecraft failing again? I'm having the worst, the absolute worst luck with technology lately. Um, I mean, I know that I'm running a lot of stuff, but also... <sighs> is my activity monitor really that sad? I guess it's kind of sad. Yeah, it's definitely, oh, this makes me so sad. All right, I'm gonna rerun that. I'm just gonna quit this again. Um, all right, let's try one more time. I don't know why PowerPoint is trying to spin up. I said go away. No, just stop. Just stop. I don't want you to open. At least I don't have to keep logging in. Thank you to the update from Minecraft Education Edition. You don't have to log in every single time. I love that. Um, I just don't want you. Just don't. Just stop. Stop. Don't save. Just stop. Please. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Um, and now it's dark. <sighs> what is even happening? Okay, time set day. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Whoo, calm down. Diamond. I'm just going to create them out of diamonds. Why not? Two, three. Oh, no, go away. And then um, a beacon. Yay! Okay, so we're going to put a beacon there. And then let's go ahead and grab a sign. And then here's the real question. Do we want our sign to have... I don't think we want our sign to have all of the same coordinates. I think it would be kind of neat if the sign had like 
Um, I mean, it would be kind of cool if it had like some kind of rhyme, but what if we did something like, okay, well, let's just put the coordinates there for now. And then let's say Canyon, right? Um, but what if we did some inch, like some, some cutesy little, I don't know, like a scavenger hunt type thing with the different numbers and then you have to run it through like I don't know like okay let's take the word canyon for example and what's canon and canyon and ASCII um what is that called chart table I mean I could have just looked at what it was saying so let's take a look at the ASCII table So capital C maybe, so capital C is 67, lowercase a is 97, n is 110, y is 121, o is 111, and n, we already did n, is 110. So that's how you spell canyon in ASCII. Um, I wonder if we can do like, what are those numbers added together? Uh, 67 plus 97 plus 110 plus 121 plus 111 plus, oh, I was not doing plus 10 plus 121 plus 111 plus 110. Wouldn't it be cool if that was just like magically one of the numbers? So 616 added together is 616 oh now i'm trying to like i think i'm trying way too hard it's like what is negative i mean what we could do is just move the canyon to where it makes sense to be um or okay here's what we could do negative 13 22 plus 616 is negative 706 so why don't we say that it's like Can you not? What if we said like negative 706? This is making me extremely sad. The fact that this just keeps completely failing and not letting me live my life. Why? Why do you do this? Okay. Minecraft does not want to work with me today. It's making me extremely angry. So instead, let's just focus on like what the signs are going to read, um, which I know the content is not as exciting as actually playing inside of Minecraft. I don't know why Minecraft wants to just not work today. Um, but we do need to think about what the signs are going to be. Um, I kind of like the idea of maybe each sign is like a, a different... Like it would be useful if you had some code or I don't know, like a different, oh, like a different way of figuring it out. So maybe we do something like sign or clues. Okay, so I'm pasting this here so that we can just kind of think about this. So um, Canyon uh, in ASCII is, and then that was 67, 97, 110, 121, 111, and 110 um, added together is 616. So what we could do is that uh, the sign for, As for Canyon could be um, negative 113 plus 616, negative 607. negative 706 is what I meant to say. Um, and then 25 plus 616. Ugh. 641. And then 179. So 
795. Okay, so we could have that just be like, so then the, the sign would read. Um, seven oh six, six forty one, seven nine five, minus Canyon dot ASCII, which isn't actually like code, but it just like like Canyon dot ASCII is not a thing, um, and you can't really subtract that out. But it, it's just like it's a clue, right? Okay, I like this. I like this. I like this. Open preview. Just want to see if that's doing what I wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So that's our canyon. What's other things like that are fairly simple for someone to be able to figure out? Um, we could do it in like do some binary too. Um, okay. So let's take a look at the water. Um, so let's do a binary converter. Um, actually I was thinking instead of text to binary, let's do decimal to binary and let's do negative 1313, which is, should we do it sign two's complement? I mean, that's fairly complicated, I feel like. Okay, fine. Let's just do this. Um, so in negative 1313 13 in binary is that um, 99 and 526 in binary is this and in binary is this. so 99 526 okay so okay um, maybe like, what is water in binary? I feel like this one's going to get way too, too complicated. Cause what I'm thinking is like, Hmm. You could just do W. I was thinking like, I was thinking what we could do is we could have it be like a mask also. So we could have one just be binary, but then the other one be a mask. And so then we can say like negative 13, 13 and W. We don't have, do we have any that are three? Oh, let's do that for either mud or sky. Okay, so let's not do the mask. We're just gonna do that. So then the sign would read. Negative this. 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 Water dot binary water dot location dot binary let's just do like that okay um perfect so now what's the next one hill what is interesting about hill um so again like if you have any ideas for things that you just liked to do or that like you thought was cool when it comes to coding, let me know. I'm trying to think of like, uh, so we could, I mean, there's the ASCII table for Hill. The interesting about this one is that we could do like 72, 105, 108, 108. Um, 72, 
105, 108, 108. Really? 105, 108? I never realized how close I and L were. Um, anyways, so in ASCII, um, what is 105 minus 72? 33. That's actually kind of cool. So 105 minus 72 equals 33 and 108 minus 105 equals 3. So we've got some threes going on here and that's kind of neat. Um, our hill location is this. So maybe we... Okay, so what if we did negative 1208 minus 333 is negative 1541. 64 minus 3 is, oh gosh, that's hard math. Just kidding. And 698 minus 33 is 665. Um, and actually, I just realized this one, didn't I do a plus? Pretty sure I did a plus. Yeah. Canyon's definitely a plus. Not a minus. Okay. Um, canyon.ascii.sum. Because it's like, take Canyon, turn it into ASCII, add them all together then add that to each of these. It's kind of what we're doing. This one is take water, take the location and turn it to binary. And that's what this one is. This one is um, in ASCII, your difference is three. I mean, it's 33, three and zero. So we could do it like that. Cause what I was thinking was um, minus, 333 minus 33 and minus, or sorry, minus 3 and minus 33 is that. But what we could do instead is do like minus 33 minus 3 minus 0. That's kind of cool. So it's 1208. Negative 1208 minus 33. 1208 minus 33. 1241. That should have been fairly obvious, too. Um... Four minus three equals sixty-one, and six ninety-eight minus zero equals six ninety-eight. So we could have it be like that. I kind of like the idea of like the three, three, three. Eh. Okay, so let's just do it like that. So the sign. would read um, 698 there this should actually be like so this one would be 698 no oh, sorry negative 1241. 61, 698. And this is going to be hill.ascii.difference. And then it's going to be hill.location minus. That's a pretty complicated clue. This one's just that, and then this one's. Okay, kind of like these ideas. 
Um, all right, what is our next one? Our next one was mud. This is what I was thinking for mud. So those are our current locations. So let's just put like, uh, maybe we should do that for all of them for our documentation sake. So I was watching how to lose a guy in 10 days, which is not quality content. But I have your so vain stuck in my head now. So that's awesome. All right. I would sing along, but I am not very good at that. Um, okay. Mud. Uh, so that's the location. So what I was thinking for this one was we could do the ASCII of the letters and just subtract out each one. So basically it would be an ASCII seventy seven one seventeen one one hundred. Um, and then what we can do is negative 954 minus 77, uh, 54 minus 117. Actually, let's do plus. I'm doing a lot of minuses lately. And 100 or 1060 plus 100. Um, let's see if I can do math quickly. 2171, 171. I'm worse at subtraction, let's be honest. Negative 954 plus 77. Let's just double check. You never know. 54 plus 117. And 1060 plus 100. That one should be fairly obvious. Okay. Perfect, so then um, sign would read. Uh, mud dot location plus dot ASCII is this I'm trying to think I don't think I'm consistent with my signage here so this is mud look this is the algorithm to figure it out you take the mud location and you add so this isn't the algorithm to figure out this is the algorithm that I use to create this but what this should actually be is this minus mud.ascii, which is what I was doing to begin with. So like negative 877 minus 77 equals negative 954. So the question is, do we want our signage to be... Um, what what I did to get this or what you should do to get the location. I mean, we could do both. So we could do something like canyon dot location equals that. So we could do both. 
All right, so we've got those. Um, let's keep doing. Any other ideas? Swamp. I'm just going to do all of the locations so that way we don't have to keep. And then sky. I think we're going to give them the mountain, so we don't need to do one for the mountain. Ooh, letter and position of the alphabet. I like that. Um, let's do it with one that's three. I like the three letter one for that one. So, oh. We could even turn that into binary and like really, really be funny. Um, I just really don't want to count what letter, what number position. Um, okay, here we go. S is 19. 19th letter. Uh, K is the 11th letter. Y is the 25th letter. And then we can say that 19 in binary is... Do you think I can do that fast? I don't, my brain's too tired to do that fast right now. Uh, 19. Uh, 11 in binary is fine. Let's do it. Um, eight, eight plus three. So isn't that 11 in binary? Yeah. Duh. Because when we go up to 12, we go up one. Wait. Oh, nope. <laughs> because it's one plus two plus not four but plus eight um okay whatever 25 can't believe how tired i am recently um 25 in binary is and then what we want to do is negative 1303 minus um oh wait wait that just gives us that doesn't make any sense. Um, I mean, this is where we could potentially mask. So let's do um, negative 1303 in binary. Let's see. This one's gonna be like, no one's ever gonna find this room. Give the coordinates and then use the binary like a riddle so they can figure out where it goes. Oh, so they'd have to figure out, but why would they care which one it is? Um, What we could do, yeah, exactly. Once they figure out the coordinates, they can just go and be like, I'm in the sky. Um, oh, you know what this one could be useful for, though, is they could, uh, so we could say that there are certain prizes in certain rooms. And so this one would be useful. Okay, okay, I know. So this is the clues for location. But we're also going to have 
clues for prizes. Um, or maybe, yeah, clues for prizes. And so basically, um, what are the prizes? So the prizes might be like in the sky room. Um, maybe we want to have, I kind of like diamonds because it's like diamonds in the sky. Um, so diamonds are going to close it. Um, and maybe like you can't teleport out of a room until you get something and and so you don't ever want to enter a room unless you have the tools to be able to break things. So maybe it's like, um, uh, let's see, how many? I'm trying to think like in our clue game, do I have the game clue? Let me see if I have it. BRB. Also, you might still be able to hear me because I have wireless headphones, but not 100% positive how far they go. Um, trying to see, let's see. Thought I had Clue. I had Monopoly, Cranium, Harry Potter, Settlers, Sherlock Holmes. Nope, no Clue. Darn it, <laughs> get it, no Clue. I have no clue. Um, okay, well, so much for clue. Um, I need to get it. But what I was thinking was... <laughs> Told you I'm not a good singer. Okay. I'm just trying to think of like... One, two, three, four, five, six people. One, two, three, four, five, six weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thought we were at nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could have sworn there were nine rooms. Um, so six and six and nine. I don't really need six. I mean, I guess you could have to get... That's what it is. You have to figure out which weapon or which tool you need for which room, okay? So what we could do is say something like, uh, there are diamonds. So there, there could be the sky room. Um, well, let's say, let's say diamonds are gonna be the, the thing that you have to break. So um, room, there are diamonds you have to break. So, um, the sign would read, Let's just make this even. Diamonds in the this. Okay? So that's what the sign would read. So then you know that before you enter the sky, you better be able to break diamonds. Okay? And then what do you need to be able to break diamonds? Um, an iron pickaxe, an iron or diamond pickaxe. Okay, so once you, you have an iron or a diamond pickaxe, you need to get the location. So basically, um, people who are playing would need to write down like, okay, once they find all these clues, they'll need to write down like, 
okay, I know diamonds are in the sky, and so I need this tool. I know the sky is located here. So they basically, they should kind of like lay out the whole game board, which is actually a Minecraft world. And then they can um, get in there and break it. And then we'll randomly place, we'll randomly choose which room was the one that you needed to find something in. Um, and so then at the end of the game, which we still need to figure out what the end thing is, um, it might be wherever, whenever someone finds the random one, it might be just based on time. At the end of the game, um, or maybe there's just like a sign in there. Because I was thinking that it could be clue related, but then it could also be that um, Assassin's game where like someone's going to know that they found something. So then the question is, then at the end, maybe everyone has like all the clues and then they go around and we determine, but it's kind of like more of a lying game rather than an actual, okay, I kind of like this idea. So um, in the diamond one, so diamonds are going to be one option where if you collect Okay, so then, okay, so the goal is, um, sorry, I'm kind of everywhere, game goal. So the goal is something to the effect of, like, um, collect X of type Y blocks, and X, maybe we just say five. To start with of type y block of type x blocks um x is random each time it the game is played a different block type is chosen um if you correctly collect five of the right type of block um, you will be awarded a C pickle. Um, then um, so, okay. Basically, gameplay is something like uh, walk or finding beacons in the world will find signs signs have clues for locations of rooms and um, block types in rooms okay and then um All right, so then um, you're gonna wanna optimize for the different block types. So maybe we'll have like two rooms that have diamonds in them. And so then the problem though is that like, if you accidentally get all of like, let's say you found the sky room and it had diamonds in it and you knew the coordinates of it and you get there, but two other players might've already collected the five blocks. Um, and maybe that we win I don't know. I feel like I feel like we should do this. Based on the first player who got it, but then also I feel like you should try to have to guess who who won the sea cucumber. So there's the, or the sea pickle. So like the first player to get five will win the sea pickle. I don't know how like the last part should happen. I feel like there should be something where, okay. So you find the beacons in the world, you'll find signs. Signs will have clues for locations of room and block types of room. Your goal is to collect 
five of type X blocks. Five is random each time the game is played, so a different block type is chosen. If you correctly collect five blocks of the right type of block, five of the right type of block, you'll be awarded a C pickle. Then, um, each player will have to guess which player found the sea pickle in which room by breaking which block? And basically that's for second place. So maybe it's like first place and then second place. And so here's the trick is you'll want to, um, as the first place winner, um, So basically, um, so then basically we'll take turns, take turns, um, each person tries to, I, each person guesses, um, clue like, uh, the player, room, and block type. I feel like this part doesn't have to be as complex as Clue, so we can just, um, Something like that. Okay. All right. I like this. Um, so basically, uh, we will want to have, we have nine rooms. I still kind of like the idea of 
six block types and there'll be six players and then that way we keep it kind of similar to that okay so let's um diamonds in the sky so that would be that one so i'm gonna say this is just sky So in terms of location for Sky, what we could do is, um, by the way, today I think I want to try to just finish up what these signs will be. So then that way next time we can actually put them inside of Minecraft. Um, so uh, we skipped Swamp. I mean, we could do something just like continue to do something the same. So we could do like, what is swamp? Negative fourteen seventy seven plus fifty seven plus two eleven seven ninety one. Um, Uh, 57, what is 57 in binary? And what is, I mean, 22, actually, what is 57? ASCII is nine. What is twenty two eleven? All right. Um, so I'm thinking maybe it's something like uh, swamp dot location dot sum. Minus nine dot ASCII minus Here we go. Okay. So the sum is this, the Y is this, and the Z is this. Now the confusing thing about the Y is that if you look at the ASCII table, nine is tab, which wouldn't make sense. But if you look at nine, and then it's 57. So you have to like do the opposite direction, which is kind of interesting, but I think that's fine. Okay. So that's our swamp. Um, our sky is, uh, I still like the idea of there being three letters and three numbers, but what if we did something like backwards? So S, Okay. Oh, why? I thought 
thought that getting that extra Starbucks would give me more energy, but I'm still so tired. So then what if we did... Okay. Okay. Like that. So basically you opposite or you reverse sky. Maybe we could just do like like that. Sky dot reverse dot ASCII. And then you subtract this. Subtract it from there. Okay. Oh, why there's so many rooms. And then we have to do all of the... At least we got the game goal down. Okay. The problem is, like, this, the longer we take to do this, the less, like, we need to get to actually building the game. Um, I'm tired of, like, thinking about all of the rules. All right, let's finish up. Uh, Treehouse. I kind of want to just do something simple. Um... Lowercase e is 101, and there's like just a lot of e's here. So what if we just added 101? So <sighs> mm. so let's do. So nobody did anything fun this weekend? Nothing at all? 372. If you are watching this on YouTube, you should tweet at me if you did anything fun. Work? No. Work is not, well, I mean, it can be fun. This is kind of work and it's fun. Um, no. Okay. Uh, yes, it has been so hot. If you're in San Diego or in Southern California, oh my gosh, San Diego has been humid and hot. It's like nineties and humid on top of the nineties. It just, it's been a lot. Um, just not used to this humidity. All right. One, two, three. What if we just did this? What if we did... Oh gosh, here comes my like, the work is fun. Ooh, coffee shop with no, or bad AC. That does not sound good. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, also like I have an AC, I'm so grateful for it. But in my office, especially with all these lights, sometimes it doesn't, it's not, not the best. Um, sometimes I find myself just sitting here like dying of heat. Um, so I was thinking of like anding them or oaring them or x oaring them or something like that. Um, how many of these? So what if we did this? So those are our 
numbers in binary. Um, What if we did, actually here, why don't we do this? And then here's where we can do So E E E And how do I go back from that? So, oh, you can't. It's going to have to be an or. It's not going to work either. You can't really go back from it. So, here's what we need to do. We need to do the opposite. So, this is where we're trying to get to. Um, one, zero, one, 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 zero. Oh, we could do exclusive or that too complex. Binary XOR calculator. Let me just double check that this is correct. Um, so in XOR, basically, what we're trying to do is we take this and we want to do binary. And we want to do this one binary. And then we say, oops, and we take this binary. Uh, I want it binary. One zero one 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 zero one zero. Oops. Wait, what did I do? Oops. Nope. That's. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Did I not do that right? Uh, zero. That should be. Oh, sorry, yeah. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is um, it has to be, so this is that exclusive or that is gonna be our location, so. Dot decimal. Um, so basically, 372, um, 
basically what we did was sign You're so vain. You probably think the song is about you. Okay, so basically we take E E E, we turn it into ASCII, which is 101, 101, 101. We XOR that with this number right here, and then we convert that to a decimal, and that gives us Z. So an XOR means that it's exclusively OR, so it has to be exactly an OR to become a 1. So one or zero is one. Zero or zero is zero. One, one, one. But one or one is actually a zero because it's not exclusively one or the other. So that's why this is it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That one's kind of intense. Okay. Coral reef and cave. I feel like we should just be like, one of them should just be a giveaway. Why don't we have the coral reef? Because it's my favorite. Um, it's just, there you go. Have a nice day. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then our cave. Um... Hmm. I have an idea. In a cave, you dig. So why don't we get dig? DNS E is that sixty-eight. Um let's do it all caps. Seventy-three. And G and S E is 71. All right. And then let's just do um, negative 2032 minus 68, negative 20. Okay. Awesome. Can y'all still hear the music playing too? I think it's playing, but it's hard. I can't actually hear it. Curious. Okay. So we have all of our locations. Cool. Do you enjoy this music? I, I kind of liked it. Um, so let's come up with the six different block types. Uh, yeah, I agree. I kind of feel like I am listening to it. The other, or I was like, um, I was listening to music earlier and it came up on iTunes and it just soothing and calming. Uh, I was listening to Taylor Swift's Lover album and then all of a sudden it was just like the soothing, calming music and I didn't even realize it until it was all the way done. And there was literally five seconds left and I was like, oh, 
Well, that's kind of nice. Um, okay. So the last bit is just deciding on the, uh, the different block types. So I think that is one thing, though, that we should figure out is... Okay, so number one, diamonds, and they require um, also, I wanted to see, does that work with like the numbering? No, not really. Okay, let's just do this. That's better. Diamonds. What are some other interesting ones? Um, top ten Minecraft blocks. Diamond. Okay, the command block, but. Oh, that would be kind of interesting if you had to break a TNT block, but then it's going to destroy the world. Mm, I don't like that. We could do obsidian. Obsidian Minecraft block. Let's take a look at the Gamepedia for it. So you need a diamond pickaxe. So basically, you're going to need diamond pickaxe. I mean, the, you could get the iron pickaxe. Ooh, that could be part of it, too, though, is that you have to try to, like, maybe you should get the diamonds before you get the obsidian. Because it's easier to get an iron pickaxe. Okay, I kind of like that idea. Um, so then maybe we do something a little bit simpler, but let's take a look back at these top tens. Um, an iron block. Let's take a look at an iron block. What do you need? Stone, iron, or diamond? So let's do an iron block. Stone, iron, diamond. Cold block. Iron or diamond. Rarest item in the game. I feel like you shouldn't be able to get that. No. Oh. What's the last one? Um, what about something that, like, isn't super common, but... Another brick. I was thinking something that isn't super, super common, but um, easy to break. Okay, so I like this one. So nether brick and um, a wooden pickaxe. Is it one more? No. Five. We just need one more brick type. Mm -hmm. What about like um, a redstone? Yeah, 
let's do redstone. Somewhere. All right, so then that way you could kind of gather things and who knows, maybe it's the redstone and so all you need is a wooden pickaxe and you can just, you know, get it right away. Um, okay, so let's put these locations back. So we've got Canyon, Water Hill, Mud Swamp. Canyon. Uh, water. And then we already have Sky, Treehouse, Coral Reef Cave. Okay, um, and then we might actually, I mean, so this is one example of where they could be, but we might actually want to have different blocks be in different rooms. So maybe each room has like a few different blocks. It would be kind of neat though if that was random. Like you don't want to know that the blocks are always in that one room. So we might need to do that programmatically. Can we programmatically? Um, I'm curious if we can programmatically make so I'm just bringing up the make code in the browser because um, I'm not actually going to run it in Minecraft, but can we programmatically um, assign? I don't think we can like add to a sign, but what we OK, what we could do is when you find a sign. OK, when you find a sign, it could do a chat command so you can like break a block and then it'll say like, you know, So maybe the beacon will just lead to an area where maybe we do like a different type of game for knowing what type of blocks are in there. Um, when it does a chat command, I mean, when it does a, uh, there we go. So we'll do a tell you and then we can do. So what I'm thinking is that maybe for the beacons that have the uh, block types, it'll just tell you what the block type is for that area. So um, you'll, you'll get, it'll be random. And instead of doing this, which, gosh darn it, I really liked this one. But instead of doing this one, so I'm gonna save this for later. So instead of doing that, um, at each location,
Okay, so I'm thinking like maybe we've got a grass block, some jungle leaves. Okay, that's how we could still use it. So maybe it's like, okay. No, because the diamonds are the thing that have to be random. I think I need to think about this a little bit more. Um, but we can get started by doing these ones and then we'll figure out like, maybe we don't even do clues for this. Maybe they do just have to go to each room. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this off to say, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I'm signed in, so I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm not signed in right now for some reason. So um, I can't commit it that way, but I'll go ahead and commit this uh, afterwards. And yeah, I mean, today was an hour and a half, um, but I think we've got our gameplay down. I mean, I, I don't exactly know what's going to happen for the block types part. But uh, on Thursday, we can definitely put in all of the signs for the different locations. Oh, and I just realized I'm going to have to like redo all of those numbers for when we do a new one. Um, but maybe what we could do is actually run uh, scripts to give us that and then we can create the signs later. OK, anyways. Um, I like this idea for our gameplay. I like the idea of finding locations for rooms and having different block types in each room. And first place is that you collect five of type X block. And then second place is, is like guessing. Um, I like this idea. So yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I'm Sarah Guffles. Uh, it's also linked down below on Twitch. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it is also linked down below. Uh, don't forget that we are posting all of these videos on YouTube as well in long form, but also the shortened like five to 10 minute version of just kind of like the, the highlights, um, if you will. Uh, so feel free to check that out. Um, otherwise, I will see you likely on Thursday, barring any major life things. I mean, I don't anticipate anything, but um, uh, yeah. So I'll see you Thursday. Have a great evening. Bye everyone.